So you want to get a job in analytics and you don't already know an analytical programming language? Well, then you're in the right place. We're here to discuss the jack of all trades of analytical programming languages, SAS. This video on how and why to learn SAS is part of a series of videos on getting a job in analytics. If that's something you're interested in, please take a look at our complete guide to getting a job in, in analytics linked below, as well as subscribe to make sure you stay up to date with all future content. In this video, we'll talk about who should learn SAS, what are the advantages and disadvantages, how to get it, and how you can actually learn it with available resources. SAS is probably the single best language to learn if you want a job in analytics in a large company. A Time Magazine study showed that SAS was the single most valuable skill that a job seeker could have. 94 of the Fortune 100 companies use SAS. Let me say that again. 94% of the largest companies on earth utilize SAS in some form or another. To put that in perspective, according to a Gallup poll, 82% of Americans believe that the earth revolves around the sun. SAS, good for you. And America, bless your heart. SAS is popular among large companies because it has a number of strengths. First, SAS is like the neighborhood handyman. It's capable of pretty much everything. Everything from simple data cleaning, to regression analysis, to machine learning, SAS can handle it. Second, SAS is easy. Its syntax is logical and straightforward. It's probably the easiest programming language you'll ever find. Third, SAS has great support. Support is top-notch at the corporate level, and for individuals, there are lots of free resources and online forums where you can ask questions. I've personally had problems solved for me day or night by expert programmers from around the globe. SAS is a great language, but it's far from perfect. Like a handyman is great at installing a light fixture, you wouldn't want to use them to rewire your entire house. Okay, maybe this guy did, but you get my point. The biggest weakness for most is it's not a good fit for a lot of cutting-edge data science. SAS may be able to handle most of it, but the work done in high-tech firms and universities is rarely done in SAS, so it lacks the cool factor that a lot of other languages or programs may have. The second weakness is that SAS is bad at creating visuals. I mean really bad. Take a look at this graph here. This might have been alright in the 80s, but if you showed up to a presentation these days with that, people would wonder if you're still working on a Commodore 64. Most of the SAS programmers I know didn't even bother trying to create graphs in SAS. They'd export their summary data into Excel and create their presentations from there. The third weakness is that SAS may be capable of doing everything, but it's not the best at anything. It can handle almost every task you want it to, but for every specific task, there's going to be one or maybe two programs that can handle it better. Weaknesses aside, if you want a job in analytics and don't already know a programming language, SAS is probably your best bet. You can get the University Edition of SAS for free. Yes, that's right, free. You can learn on the same software used by top companies without making a big investment on your part. I've included the link below, so you're welcome. Now, the caveat here is it's for non-commercial use only, so don't go using it to start your own consulting business or something. Now here's the cherry on top. You can learn via the official e-learning courses published by SAS itself for the grand total of free 99. Yeah, that's right. Many of the basic level courses, which a couple years ago when I was learning were $800 each, are available to the public completely for free. If you're a military veteran like me, almost all of them are free, as are the certification exams. It's an incredible deal. I've taken several of these courses, and I highly recommend them. In fact, I often tell people that the SAS Statistics 1 course is the best course in applied probability and statistics that I've ever seen. So, to sum it all up, if you want an analytics job and you don't already know an analytical programming language, SAS is where you should start. It should be the first programming language you learn. Now, I don't count SQL toward that. SQL is table stakes for analysts. Even if you're an expert programmer, you still need to know SQL in order to query databases to get your data. In fact, you'll actually write that SQL code inside SAS itself, or pretty much any other language or program these days. If the reason you're learning analytics is not to get a job in a larger company, knowing SAS won't hurt, but there might be better options for you. 
We'll go over those in future videos. So make sure you click subscribe below so that you don't miss out on future content updates. And until next time, I'm E.W. Hulbert, the Analytics Dude. Thanks for watching.